Okay, here we go again in our next tutorial. So in this, we will going to discuss the round robin elimination, and we will be going to um, visualize what round robin is all about. So round robin elimination is useful in any tournaments or games or sports such uh, just like the basketball like that and etc so round robin it means that all of the teams that are included in that game should be um should be i uh, should have match or should have the all of that all of that teams that are included in that game will all match or all play with each team so th that is the round robin elimination so we will going to elaborate on how to solve the round robin elimination in an even numbers so in solving the round robin elimination there are there are three steps I, I think yes three steps that we will be going to follow so the step one we need to use the formula the n times n minus 1 over 2 so the n represent on uh, representing how many teams that are included or that are participated or joined that kind of game so here uh, we have an example here say for example we have six teams so we will just distribute the 6 into the n so example n uh, n is equal to 6 so 6 times 6 minus 1 and divide 2 since we need to follow the PEMDAS we need to multiply uh, we need to solve the numbers inside the parentheses so 6 minus 1 is 5 so 6 yeah, then copy the copy then of course six times five you will going to um, times that six times five is equals to thirty and then divide two is equals to fifteen games. So fifth in six teams there will be fifteen games. So we will check that later on if it is true if fifteen games is possible for the six teams. So we need, then the, the step two will be followed will follow in step two in it, uh, it is the plotting so in plotting we you need to use the letter letters a to z for identification of the team so say for example in model set yeah this is what you will do the model set for the plotting so because we have six teams we will use A to Z, so A versus B, C versus D, and E versus F. This is just our model set. This is not yet the um, final, this is not yet the final um, round or the final match for the game. So, we need to choose one letter as the stationary of the team. In this uh, model set, we will choose one letter as the stationary team then we, we will just use say, the A say for example so the stationary team will not move because it will be the one to make the turn in each round so remember that then after that we will show the solution in our plotting so since A is our stationary of the team then A must be here at the um, first so since we have um, A versus B in our model set, then the direction for that you will um, you will first A versus C, then E versus B, then because F is of like this, you know, if D B, so we will F versus D. So you know, so so what you've seen it's what i told you that a versus 
yeah we will follow uh, we will um what we call that we will matter in the modal set so the in our modal set a versus b so see uh, for example it is the game so we cannot do the a versus b because they are already in the set so we will set another kind of set so that in another round so another round we need to um, we need to um, what we call that we need to find another um, players or teams that will be match so what we'll follow is like this a versus C then E versus B then F versus this because if you will like that it you will bring here the F then so it connect to D so it's just like that so that's why is it this is so here A versus E yeah then F versus C then D versus B because you will just put the B yeah D versus B then again it is the round one then after that the round two the round two he, he will matter the round two for the round three so a versus f yeah then d versus e then b versus c so it's very easy then after the, in the round four a versus d then b versus f then c versus e so then the round five you'll matter again in the round four a versus b then c versus d and e versus f so since they're in the round five the mo our model set is um, they call that this uh, we what we call that we sum up in we what we call that and we came came back into our model set so you will stop right there because all of the games ha all of the teams match each other so we will count how many games in in each round so one two three four five six seven eight oh in each round three so we had five rounds so it's easy to multiply that three th three rounds uh, three games in each round then times how many rounds so three games and times to five rounds so 15 games so our in the step one it is 15 games so yeah it is 15 games that is for the step three in checking in checking the number of games per round so this is the three in the number of rounds yeah this is yeah five rounds then total of the game so 15 so it's very good it's that how is easy so next example eight teams so we need to follow the steps so this in the step one um, uh, using the formula the n times n minus one so distribute the eight 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 minus one is seven eight times seven is close to 56 then divide two is 28 games so we will see a versus B, our model set, since eight teams, A versus B, C versus D, E versus F, G versus H. So that is our model set. Then, we will matter to the model set for, so that we can come up to the round one. So A versus C, yeah, versus C. Then E versus B, yeah, then G versus D, then H versus F. H versus F. So, here. Then the round one will matter the round one so that we can come up to the round two the round two so a versus e then g versus c h is a h versus b correct and f versus d then the round three a versus g yes h versus uh versus e correct and f versus b uh, c correct and d versus b correct then Round three, we will matter again. Oh round three, so that we can come up with round four. A versus H, then F versus G, D versus C, how E, B versus C. So, 
they come up. Again, then A versus F, it's correct. Then D versus G, O, H, it's correct again. B versus G, and C versus E. Then the round five, still, in the round five, we, we did not come up with, um, haven't come up with in our modal set. So, still continue. A versus uh, A versus D, yes, correct. B versus F, correct again. C versus H, and E versus G. Then, the round six matter... We will matter the round 6 so that we can come up the round 7. A versus D, again. C versus D. E versus... Uh, C versus D. E versus F. And H, uh, G versus H. So, in the round 7, we come up or we come back to the modal set. So, still they are the same. We, can, we will stop here. So, in checking, in step 3, how many games? It is 4 games in each round. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, how many rounds? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 rounds and 4 times 7 is 28. So, it's correct. 28 games and 28 games and 4 even steps only. We will see later on in our next video on how to solve the add round robin elimination. So, I hope so that you, you learn something even though that it's not really good. Um, I'm not good in discussing but I hope so that you learned something and thank you so much.